Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing a great reset. I've seen this across YouTube frequently, this, this term, the great reset. The World Economic Forum has been using it a lot. It is an interesting term to say the least. It means a lot of things to a lot of people. But I thought I'd make this video to kind of delve into maybe it, I'm, I'm doing this more, I, I sometimes do sort of an op-ed where I just sort of throw my two cents in as to what I think people should be looking at for the future of Thai immigration matters. And one thing that I think would be a good idea on the part of expats here in Thailand is to go ahead and perhaps, you know, maybe not great reset, but think in terms of a kind of a paradigm shift with how immigration policy is going to be operating I think at least for the relatively foreseeable future, perhaps in the next quarter, perhaps two or three quarters that going into 2021. And what I'm, what I'm specifically trying to pinpoint here is Thai immigration's overall paradigm has shifted a lot in five years. Five years ago, back in 2015, I think it was safe to say that they were still operating much more with sort of an administrative mindset that processing documentation associated with visas and immigration matters was, was a, it was a function of sort of administrative, of the administrative state, if you will. Meanwhile, subsequent to 2015, specifically around 2017 and 18, we really saw a shift in what I called sort of the big joke era at Thai immigration, wherein it became much more of an exer exercise in law enforcement and it was viewed much more as an exercise in law enforcement. And for that reason, there was much more stringent scrutiny on visa applications, documentation associated therewith, a lot more inspections. We've seen a lot more inspections in Thailand, especially for things like, oh, marriage visas, Thai business visas, even education visas. We've seen language schools and other academic institutions be subjected to inspection to make sure, sure that those who are saying they're attending those institutions actually are, or those who are on the premises actually have visa status. Meanwhile, there's been a great deal more in terms, uh, more activity, I should say, in terms of crackdowns with respect to illegal workers, crackdowns with respect to those using tourist visas to effectively live in Thailand. All of this we've seen in the last five years, it's really been watershed type level change with respect to Thai immigration. Now we've dealt with this sort of response to COVID-19, the travel restrictions associated therewith, the issues associated with the sort of insurance required, non-insurance required retirement visas. I think generally speaking, it is a good idea to view 2020 going into 2021 as a time when the Thai immigration system did go through a fundamental shift. And I think that we are gonna be looking at a situation where I think the Thai immigration system is gonna look very similar in many respects to the U.S. immigration system, wherein there's not a lot of border running that I suspect is going to be going on, especially into 2021, or so-called visa runs. I also don't think it's going to be particularly easy to live in Thailand in like tourist visa status as it once was. As of the time of this video, virtually no tourists are being allowed in. That stated, the in the future, I think that a lot of these changes are going to become sort of normalized and permanent, and for that reason, it's a good idea to sort of adjust one's perspective accordingly.